when you live out in a organic garden or natural biodiversity garden or a natural type of farm and all uh these internal roads are needed though i i never recommend uh, heavy machinery to move around inside the farm because it compacts the soil we'll need few roads particularly along the borders one one internal road is needed so for, uh, so that you can survey the border and then uh, if some little work the border is involved and all it can be accessible so these inner roads uh, they can serve as uh, on the both sides of the road they can they can host lot of shrubs and trees and all that are useful and uh, which attract birds and all which you can hear here over now all these bird chirping and all that so that is the my our boundary behind that some stone wall is there now you can see that that's the boundary along that some uh, 10 15 feet we are left for hardwood and numerous trees that can be planted in the outer wall and then inner part after that around 10 feet of space that side uh on both sides smaller shrubs can be planted so one of the best and then these these remoter areas of the garden and all first of all water won't be available moreover uh, it's difficult to, i mean if it's a larger garden and all you can't water and look after all those plants on the hedges and all that they have to be the native plants which can survive very nicely without our interference so i selected such species for this this is a small two acre garden so in internal road for walking and all that and for any little work and all we have maintained one of the best plant what i can recommend for this situation is this uh, hibiscus in this hibiscus many varieties are available uh but this is the original and native one it's there for thousands of years and uh, it is important for the devi worship that uh, mahakali and lakshmi saraswati all our feminine gods they like this flower for decoration and all so in temples they normally traditional temples they must have this for daily worship for devi temples then apart from that is therapeutic and all this this flower can be made into uh some juice and all kind of things you can make out of it juice herbal and all uses and it's very cooling apart from that if you have goats and cows and all they like to eat this in the summer some of that branches can be trimmed and uh, fed to the cows and all then uh, it is also supporting the that nectar drinking birds humming birds and all that sun bird so they come for they get some nectar out of this then uh, it is evergreen so there's no question of uh, all the leaves falling down and all and it's very hardy this particular section is quite uh, rocky actually but it's doing very well so this this uh, particular variety of uh, hibiscus this traditional one is and it gives very nice ambience those hanging flowers round the year you'll have flowers from this so it's a excellent one of the best plant for this uh, inner hedges and it's easy to trim and native so and hardy it has all the characteristics of a good hedge plant internally and then this this situation creates amazing habitats for little birds because there is these are all food items for them and many berries are there like the sandalwood and then uh, that karandas is hanging over there and that is that karandas that droopy thing so all these tiny little things and then they they all provide very good habitat for uh, bird nesting then also useful stuff is there 
we have teak trees and all in this uh, border zone so that once in a while when money is needed a few can be harvested also so this hedge for hedges in a nutshell this is the best plant and uh, if it's a bigger farm some 300 or 500 of these one can procure and plant anywhere where you want instant greenery it it's uh, very cooling also the dark green leaves they radiate lot of moisture and uh, they provide the ambience inside the garden so that the moisture content in this in my garden i check the moisture content is about 10 to 15% more than outside the compound and then uh, the temperature also is around 3 degrees less than outside if just stepping out of this compound there's an increase in temperature decrease in humidity so this creates a nice ambience and all this mulch also you get even this hibiscus now if you see the base of it so much mulch is gathered and it makes the earth also very dark brown and nice so often porous and uh, the base looks like this you can go on chopping one feet height you can leave and chop or but depending on your preference and needs can be controlled uh, size and all can it's easy to manage so here you can see the upwards this carandas has gone on to the talbizia lebec then there's some bamboos dioscoria and a lot of species so all that magic can happen with a beautiful border zone of large trees slow growing fast growing mixed no native trees all don't go for this exotics and you'll have a beautiful ambience inside your gardens